After 52 years of service, the final coal-fired generator at Liddell Power Station in the New South Wales Hunter region will be turned off today. Kenny Heatley is at the Liddell Power Station in Musselbrook for its final day of operation. Its closure is not unexpected. Liddell Power Station behind me is Australia's oldest coal-fired power station and well past its use-by date. And today is the day when operator AGL shuts it down for good. The first of its three generators was closed on Monday, then on Wednesday, and the final one today. In its lifetime, it's produced over 430,000 gigawatt hours of electricity, accounting for around 10% of New South Wales' annual power supply in recent years. But both the Australian energy market operator and the New South Wales government are not worried about power interruptions or price spikes after Liddell closes today. That's because the grid has been bolstered by upgrades to two other coal-fired generators and increases in large-scale wind and solar. Liddell has already been running well below its original output for years. Since 2021, it's averaged just half its capacity. AGL planned to build a 500 megawatt battery in its place and rejuvenate the site. Over half of Liddell's 180 employees will transfer to nearby Bayswater Power Station, 20 will remain for the decommission phase and the rest will retire. There are staff that have been employed at Liddell for more than 40 years. While Liddell's shutdown is not expected to cause any issues, a roaring power station which produces 20% of the state's electricity is scheduled to close in August 2025. A peak time usage shortfall of 262 megawatts in 2025-26 could force the New South Wales government to intervene at the end of the year.